Hello there, this is a video reading for Stasha Eve, and originally this was intended to be a three card reading, uh, but as often happens when you shuffle the cards, you do get some cards that will jump out and force themselves into the reading. And I've found it best to not ignore jumper cards, so I have included the extra card within this reading. And also, I noticed when you posed your question that you said you couldn't really decide between the Aquarian Tarot, which you said you were very drawn to, and also the Golden Dawn deck, which you have seen me using recently. So I've done what I had intended to do anyway, which is to include a bonus card from the Golden Dawn. Now, the question that you were asking me about was this impending move that you're due to make and you know this really is kind of a sort of leap of faith kind of move and certainly from the way that you asked the question there was a, uh, a sense of you know this really is quite a a major sort of upheaval for you and it's interesting because as I sort of link into that now and how I really feel about it, I can really feel the sort of rush of adrenaline and the kind of excitement and anticipation around it. It's very much a case of almost sort of not knowing where we're going, what we're going to do, how it's going to turn out. It feels a little bit at the moment kind of as though plans towards it are at a minimum rather than being something that has been very very carefully and meticulously sort of worked out and um, I just wanted to sort of put that across before turning to the cards and what I've done with the question because there was a number of different sort of elements to the question there was the move itself, which I have drawn a card for, to try to give us some idea of really uh, the situation around the move, how it's going to go in a sense, how it will work. But also, I was aware from your question that there was a, a love interest side as well. So I've drawn a card separately for that. And then what we have is, we the next card actually is the card that is the jumper that literally threw itself out of the deck as I was concentrating on this. And I then drew, in a more controlled manner, an additional card to try to give us an overview, really, of the whole kind of situation. And then I asked the Golden Dawn deck to see if there was anything that it wanted to add to this sort of mixture really. So let us look at the card that we get for the actual move. And what we have here is the Seven of Cups. Now this is a very interesting card to get really because we have a card ruled by Venus and this is, so this is a very kind of womanly power kind of card in any way. And this usually means kind of choices and possibilities. In, in, in a lot of instances you can look at this as almost being an embarrassment of riches when it comes to the choices that you have. But with it being a seven, it strikes me as being a, a slightly unbalanced energy in so much that it's not something that's very settled and, and definite, and yes, it will be A, B, C, and it will just work. This is very much a kind of um, unexpected energy, is the feeling that I get with this. And the things I'm most drawn to here are the hand holding this wand, which gives me the feeling that there will be work opportunities in the new location. Obviously you're dealing with a new place, new people, perhaps new friends around you, uh, new opportunities. 
And again, with that sort of seven influence, it feels like it's going to be quite unexpected. Uh, you know, and these things won't happen necessarily in the way that you might plan them or intend them, or even maybe hope for them to to be. I mean, there is a there is a degree of kind of wishes. If there was a card of the Minor Arcana that is about wishes, I would say this is the one. This is kind of you hoping for certain things, wishing for certain things, but kind of getting them in a slightly unusual way. There is also, I'm very drawn to the head of this gentleman popping out of this cup. It's a slightly macabre image in some ways, but the feeling from that is that there are going to be new people around you. There are going to be new opportunities to socialize and to widen your social circle. And, you know, that in itself can bring in friendships, it can bring in lovers as well. And the one other thing that does kind of strike me here is the rainbow here, which actually strikes me as quite positive. It's it's a little bit sort of I don't know, I'm, I'm clairaudiently, I'm getting that phrase of somewhere over the rainbow, you know, the uh, the Wizard of Oz song, um, which does kind of almost feel like what we're dealing with here. We are dealing with going over the rainbow. We're dealing with going out there and really um, sort of living, in a sense, a, a bit of a dream, I suppose. So, in a nutshell, Expect things to happen in a slightly unexpected way, but expect there to be opportunities and choices available to you that you really are then going to have to look at the sort of nitty gritty uh, of, of what each of those choices can offer you. So moving on to our next card, this one specifically relates to the gentleman that you spoke of um, as the possible love interest. And the card we have here is the Three of Swords, which I know that you read oracle cards. If you read tarot cards as well, you'll be aware that this is not necessarily the most happy of relationship cards, because there can be, with the Three of Swords, a little bit of a tendency for... Uh, negatives for things like you know heartache and, and what have you and and that's fairly obvious actually from the imagery in the card you have this heart pierced by these swords and it's quite a dark card in this particular deck the feeling this gives me is one of in a sense slightly disturbed emotions in a way I don't feel that the the interaction with the gentleman that you uh, were talking about is necessarily going to be um, the most positive of things. I think it could it could bring up an awful lot of raw emotions with you that you know this card is kind of alluding to. So I think it's worth being aware of that and being aware that it may not be all to use an old cliche, hearts and flowers. And there could be some some sort of um, real serious kind of emotional soul searching going on and some raw emotions being thrown around. So, you know, this, this does kind of link in as well to the previous card in so much that you do have to bear in mind this relates specifically to this particular gentleman. But if things don't work out in that department, you know, you like I said before, you know, on an emotional level, you are going to have choices. Now here, the choice may relate to, in a sense, whether you take this person on warts and all, so to speak, or whether you ultimately decide that it's not working or it's not going to work, and you look elsewhere, and then your choices will be in terms of other people that you may wish to to become involved with so i just think in this instance it's worth being a little bit sort of a little wary and a little bit aware of what could possibly happen now the third card which is the jumper 
that forced itself out is the Hope card. That's how I tend to think of this card. This is the star, and it's a really beautiful card within this um, deck. And what we have here is this wonderful sort of peacock, which again is a, a, an animal that I see, or bird in fact, that I see as very much a female power um, animal. Uh, because it's an animal that is sacred, for example, to the goddess Hera. And this, what this says to us is actually stay hopeful. Keep hold of your hopes and your dreams and your wishes. Keep them out there. Um, keep them kind of front and center in your mind so that you're focusing on living out your dreams, on reaching for the stars, going for what you want. And, you know, there's, there's, a, there's an indication that that is, that is a good thing to do because it's, it is achievable. Now, the other thing that I'm being made very, very aware of here is the number of this card, which is XVII, which is 17. Now, 17 deduces to 8. And numerologically, what we've got with an 8, it crosses over into the tarot in the sense that the 8 is the strength card. So it may well be that in this situation you have to be extremely strong. You have to really draw on all of your inner fortitude, your inner strengths, and really stay powerful, stay focused, and stay determined. And the other thing that I get from those numbers, the one, to me, is about that that equates to the magician so that is about really you making things happen and really um, pushing the boat out in a way and manipulating and forming things the way you want them to be and the seven is the real kind of looking at the details it's interesting that we get the seven showing itself here and we had the seven in the seven of cups as well so what we are dealing with is you really looking at things looking at the detail of things and making your choices as as wisely as you possibly can with that so let us look at i'm going to go this way around and let us have a look at what turns out to be the fourth card from the aquarian and this is kind of interesting as well because what we have here is the Nine of Pentacles. Now, this is actually a very, very happy card to get because this, again, this, interestingly, this is another Venus ruled card. And what we have is the independent woman. So what we have is here is somebody who is very strong, who is very stable and has a great foundation that she has achieved. And bear in mind, this is in relation to kind of the whole issue now. So we're looking at this as being, this indicating actually a, a great deal of positivity here, that, that stability can be achieved in this situation. And also, there's a, there's a mirror here, because if you look at the bird that we have here, this looks almost like a white version of this beautiful peacock that we have here, we have literally the two birds together, you see? So, this again speaks of that that hope that we were talking about with the previous card. It speaks of you being very grounded, very strong, having achieved an awful lot as well, and having that sort of self-reliance and self-made independence here. So it, it does actually strike me as being potentially a very, very positive card towards what we're, you know, what we're looking at here in terms of moving and then being able to put down roots and, and really um, get yourself into a place where you are self-sufficient and you're able to, you know, deal with all the things that you have to deal with. So that's actually an extremely positive card to get in this context, I believe. Now our final card here, which is 
the one from the Golden Dawn is the Four of Cups. And this is uh, a card which has a tagline of blended pleasures, which is a little bit cryptic, I tend to uh, find. And what we have here is the Moon Ruling Cancer. So we have a lot of indications of using your intuition, using your insight, that sort of lunar sight in a sense. The other thing that you tend to find with the Four of Cups is it can indicate a sort of transition in your kind of emotional state. So it can indicate the, the sort of the ending of one thing and the beginning of a new thing emotionally. And, you know, that is, that is very much the impression that I get here. We really are dealing with a moving on of your emotions, but also a sort of sitting and contemplating. So as an outcome card, this rather suggests that you will be sitting and looking back at how things have gone, where things have gone, where the emotional side of things have gone, obviously with the, the potential love interest that you were speaking of. and in a sense, evaluating those things from a position of, of stillness. You know, so there is, as I say, there is this very much this, this guidance to use your deep emotions, which is, to me, is the symbol of cancer, uh, from a place of protection. Obviously, the, the crab has its shell. And so it's worth, you know, while... Make, making a note of the fact that you have that place of protection around you. So you're looking at things from that location, you're using your insight, you're using the moon to your advantage, and you're moving your emotions on. So in a sense, letting go of the past, letting go of what has gone before, and looking forward to what is to come in the future. And the other thing that does strike me very strongly is this hand holding the flower. So this rather suggests to me that almost like something will be coming in for you, there will be an offering for you. Now, actually this could be somebody giving you a bunch of flowers. It, but that is the kind of symbol that I'm getting from, from seeing that. It's, it's almost like you know, someone will be giving you something. So I do feel that there will be something coming in on, on an emotional level. So let's just do a little review here. And it's interesting how this kind of linked together. We have the move itself, which is coming up as the Seven of Cups. So we have options, we have choices, we have almost an embarrassment of riches when it comes to things that may happen. There's a potential for work uh, connections and for new opportunities there. There's also a potential for new love interests. That does seem to be coming through very, very strongly from there. But it's unexpected. These things are not necessarily going to happen the way we expect them to happen. So just be slightly aware of that. But there's also with this rainbow, there's this feeling of actually of the move and it being quite a, a major thing as I obviously that I know from the question it is but it also it's nice when the cards confirm this so we do have that idea of you know going and living your dream in terms of the romantic side of things be aware here with the three of swords that we may be getting slightly raw emotions being brought up raw feelings raw thoughts as well because remember that swords is a suit of thought and it could be that for your relationship with the gentleman to work, it's going to have to be kind of warts and all. It's not going to be hearts, flowers and chocolates necessarily all of the time. So do be aware of that and, you know, in a sense, be forewarned and then you can make your own choice as to how you want to proceed with that. But if you don't decide to proceed with that, then you may have other options. Here we have a card saying, stay hopeful. Stay in touch with your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. 
stay in your feminine power and really plow your own field with the number one really go for the you know, make things the way you want them to be but also look at the details look at the nitty-gritty of everything and try to organize that and stay very very strong 17 8 stay very strong use all of your inner strength and your determination your outcome from this is the nine of pentacles which is the independence the financial and physical laying down of foundation so that you're in a, a good strong independent place and again we have that feminine power indicated we also have the repetition of the bird just as a reminder which is just reminding us of that feminine energy to my way of thinking and ultimately you put yourself in a place with the four of cups of reviewing of reflecting of using your insight from a position of protection letting go of the things that don't work anymore letting go of the past the things that you've had to let go of in order to bring in things from the future with this offering so be prepared for new things coming in and coming towards you so i really do hope that this reading has helped and i wish you every possible success with this it is a really big move to make and i really hope and wish that it works out to be the most wonderful thing for you and that you really are able to move things forward and grab your dreams with both hands that really will be a wonderful thing if there's anything about this reading that you want me to clarify or you know um to kind of go over i'd be more than happy to do that uh, as I say, I really hope that this has helped to give you a little bit of a, a sort of an insight and also to confirm some of the things perhaps that you're already feeling as well because I, I feel that readings are not always about predicting what's coming. They have to acknowledge where you are at now as well. So I really do hope that that, that helps and I wish you all the very, very best for this turn of events, for the move and indeed with everything that you do please do keep in touch and let me know how things are, are progressing and i want to wish you a wonderful rest of your day have a really peaceful evening and i wish lots of love light blessings and freeth which means peace to you